Hello everyone, it's me again, your se sexy moth king Bart Coppens. And today I'm back with another moth species. What I'm showing you here is the Ophodiptera Helena. Um, the Helena gum moth. Funny thing is in Australia you have a lot of Opodiptera species. I don't know exactly how many there are just from the top of my head, but um, I think there's about 8 to 10 species, maybe more. And here uh, I'm holding one of them, the uh, Ophodiptera Helena. Now these species are usually impossible to get in Europe, unless you are uh, the moth king, <laughs> like I am. Uh, the reason is because, well, Australia has very harsh laws. The animals in Australia are really badly protected and getting livestock or cocoons out there to Europe, it's almost impossible. Here's the thing though, one of the Australian uh, gum moth species, the Ophodiptera eucalypti, so that's not the species that I'm holding here, but the Ophodiptera eucalypti um, was released by people in New Zealand. And in New Zealand is basically an invasive animal there, where it does not belong. But uh, that's good news for insect breeders because um, it's much easier to get material from New Zealand. And the animal is not protected there because it's basically invasive. So if people are removing the cocoons from the environment and shipping them to Europe, they're basically doing the environment a little bit of a favor. So uh, European bre breeders can usually get the uh, Ophodiptera eucalypti in captivity, the eucalyptus gamoth, simply because it's possible to get them from an alternative place, which is New Zealand. The one I'm holding, the Helena, is one you will never or rarely see in captivity. I was really honestly very lucky to, uh, to have these. Still haven't successfully bred them though, that's the big downside. Because uh, they can stay in a cocoon for a long, long time. Almost up to uh, two or three years. The specimen I'm holding here, it's a male, it's like... I think it took two years to hatch from its cocoon, so uh, yeah. That's kind of a, a downside. Still I hope to have a pairing someday and be successful with them. And you know what? When I've bred all the moths in the world in captivity in Europe and uh, and there's nothing left for me to do, then I will go travel to places like Australia to breed the species that are not on my list and that I cannot get on the hobby. So uh, this one here is trying to escape, so I guess I'm gonna bring it back into its cage very soon. It cannot fly yet because it's very fresh, it just hatched from its cocoon. So I'm not concerned about it escaping. Anyway, this was Bart Coppens with Opodiptera Helena. Thanks for watching. See you next time.